Hello, my name is Carl Jackson. I'm founder and CTO of Sensel, and I'm very pleased to bring you this presentation to announce the new B-Series Silicon Fault Multiplier product family from Sensel. The B-Series product family is designed to complement our existing L-Series and M-Series products which are currently in the market. Uh, the B-Series product um, has, been, uh, has been developed on a new P on N wafer fabrication process which Sensel has developed over the last year. This new B-Series product family is a fourth generation silicon fault multiplier technology for Sensel. It's designed with high PDE in the UV to blue wavelength range. It's got very fast rise time. It's got exceptionally good gain and optical response uniformity. And the temperature stability of the product is one of the best in the industry at less than 20 millivolts for degree C. Um, this B-series products all operate at less than 30 volts of operation. And what's really exciting that we've been able to maintain is um, providing all of these good uh, technological advantages while at the same time providing a product which is lower cost than fault multiplier tubes. Our B-series products are designed um, as a P on N process. We did that because we wanted to make the depletion region as close to the surface as possible so that blue and UV photons, which are incidents on the detector, could be detected with the highest level of sensitivity. Uh, at the same time, we wanted to make the B-series process compatible with Sensel's fast mode three terminal and also our standard mode two terminal uh, silicon fault multipliers, silicon fault multiplier architectures. Some of the advantages that fast mode brings to our customers is in the fast rise time and the fast um, um, fall time of those devices. And what I'm showing you here is the standard mode device, which is our two terminal silicon fault multiplier in response to a uh, fast laser pulse. And I'm also showing the output from a fast mode silicon fault multiplier. You can see the fast rise time and you can see the fast recovery time. And what this does is, is allow you to clearly distinguish the first photon arrival time into the detector. As well, the fast mode output is a um, lower capacitance output than standard mode. And this makes it much easier for you to take the fast mode signals and read that into your amplifiers and your follow-on electronics. We're bringing the B-series technology to you in quite a wide range of packages. One of the most exciting of those is our new surface mount package, which is reflow solderable. Um, I'm showing here a three millimeter and a six millimeter uh, B-series device in that, in that SMT package. And what's really exciting about that is you can now take these surface mount packages and you can place them just like you would a resistor or a capacitor. You can place them onto a PCB and create a very large array very quickly and very easily. I'm showing a 12 by 12 SMT array here of three millimeter pixels. And since we'll plan to release the B-series products um, both as surface mount packages, which you can put into your own arrays, and also we plan on releasing a range of products which are based on those surface mount packages, um, which will suit a variety of applications. The surface mount devices will be released um, as a one millimeter surface mount product, uh, three millimeter, um, and also as a six millimeter surface mount product. All of these products are four side tileable. Uh, they're all very, very high performance, um, and they're all very low cost. The optical performance, optical response of our B-series device uh, is extremely good. We're showing you here the PDE versus wavelength uh, of the B-series device at 2.5 and 5 volts above breakdown. And you can see that our PDE starts to increase at 300 nanometers, and it reaches its maximum at 420 nanometers. Um, and we're showing that here at greater than 40% PDE. Um, I do want to stress that our PDE measurements that we show, these are all um, real PDE where we've extracted the crosstalk and after pulsing, even though it is small, that has been extracted from these measurements. So this is actually the real PDE of the devices. And we think this is the best way to show and represent to, to our customers. Um, across that um, bias voltage range, uh, I can show you that our gain operates uh, very linearly as shown here. I can also show you that the dark count rate versus bias um, also is very linear 
across the voltage range that these devices would operate at. Um, this is very important because our silicon photomultipliers um, are designed to operate over quite a wide voltage range. Um, and this makes it very easy to integrate them into your application and to set the devices so they can have the highest signal to noise ratio um, depending on the application that they're going into. On this slide, I'm going to show something that's very exciting, mostly to our medical imaging customers. Um, and this is the coincidence resolving time of our products. And you can see for our fast B series devices, you can see that we can achieve a full width half maximum of 210 picoseconds, which is really excellent for these devices. Now I'm going to switch gears a little bit and talk about some of the advantages that Sensil brings to our customers. Um, these four advantages are highlighted here. It's just some of the advantages, but these four advantages are that we're designed for designed our products for high volume from the start. Um, all of our products are designed for lowest cost, and they're designed for the best uniformity in the industry. Um, we also provide this to our customers with excellent customer support. We provide ourselves on providing the best customer support in the industry. Um, to focus on one of these advantages, I'd like to take the time to look at the uniformity of Sensil products. And I'm going to look at this as electrical, optical, and also temperature uniformity. And on this slide, you can see the operating voltage uniformity of over 250,000 pixels. And you can see that this varies by about uh, half a volt across all 250,000 pixels. Now, when we take those 250,000 pixels and we apply a constant voltage and a constant light source, uh, we see that we have a plus or minus 10% optical response uniformity. Um, and we believe this is one of the best, um, we believe this is one of the best uh, performances, optical response uniformity uh, in, the, in the industry right now. And we're very proud of that and very happy to show this to our customers. As well, um, another area that Sensil has created a device which is very uniform is in our, the low temperature dependence of our operating voltage. Um, this is something that um, all silicon devices um, will have their operating voltage vary with temperature. And at Sensor, we've worked to minimize this effect so that as the temperature in, your, in our customer's uh, system changes, that the output of our device would vary as small as possible. Um, and this is something we've worked very hard at, and we're happy to work with our customers to show them how this can bring them a real advantage on a system level. But I've shown you here for a variety of temperatures, I've shown how the operating voltage for Sensil silicon photomultiplier will vary, and I've compared and contrasted that to how the operating voltage for a high voltage silicon photomultiplier from other manufacturers will vary. And you can see that we've really worked to minimize that um, for our devices, and this can bring you some, serious, some very good um, system benefits um, when this is put into systems. I'd like to take the time to um, also highlight some of the great work that some of our academic researchers have done. And we've created an academic library up on our website with over 100 publications. Um, you can go on our website and download these and, and review how our devices work across quite a wide range of applications. And I would encourage you to do that. Uh, finally, I'd like to thank you for your time, uh, for listening to this presentation. And I would encourage you to go to our website and contact us um, so we can discuss your detection application. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.